Well, you know, I've been so blessed and honored to work with Iman for many, many years, going on 17 years now, and tonight is spectacular. It's something that I never imagined I'd be so blessed to be able to do. And I'm so glad you're with me for this night because it's exciting and it's thrilling and it's a love story that's all woven into one beautiful, beautiful bottle and one absolutely incredible fragrance. Let me tell you what we're doing tonight too. Iman's gonna be joining me in just a couple of seconds and she's gonna tell us about this amazing love story that she has done chapter after chapter, layer after layer, all involved into this unspoken message. It is deeply sensual. It is a beautiful fragrance and we have the exclusive premiere tonight here at HSN. So what is our combination? What do you get in this gorgeous box that even has another special story to it? You're getting three beautiful, beautiful things. First off, on the left-hand side of our configuration, you're getting this gorgeous, stunning body lotion. It's 6.7 fluid ounces. In the middle, and stay, you've got to stay with me to hear the story about every every inch of this. You're getting the Eau de Parfum that, of course, is just out of this world. And then the third portion of this is the travel spray. Now, when, or if you were to buy this at retail, once it hits and it's out and you're picking it up here at HSN, the value is truly incredible. And we have a one day offer. This one day, if you had to purchase it all separately, it's $134.85. But tonight, we're at $75.90 and five flex pays, which is awesome. Everybody can use that, even if you're new to HSN. Uh, five flex pays, you spread your payments over five months, you get it right away. The most incredible box and the most incredible gift you could give yourself or someone you love. Now, here's something else we have going on tonight, and this is really exciting too. One of you will win a signed bottle of Love Memoir, and you have to answer the trivia question tonight though. So you answer the trivia question at the end of the night, I'll pick one winner and I will announce that later on. So here's the trivia question. Where did Iman and David Bowie meet? Was it A, Italy, B, California, C, New York, or D, Florida? All right, so A, B, C, or D. You guess you can join our live chat right now and we will pick one winner at the end of the hour, announce it, and you'll get a signed bottle, which is amazing. Now, coming up on Friday, we're so excited because there's been so much. We've seen her on the morning shows. She's been featured in some amazing magazines. People, on Friday, will have an in-depth story about not only her new fragrance, but of course, uh, eternal love and an amazing love affair uh, that I think has never been matched. Uh, and of course, I couldn't do any of this and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Iman who's joining me right now. Hello darling and welcome and congratulations. <laughs> oh thank you, thank you. I'm so excited really to uh, introduce everyone to Love Memoir yeah. which is a very very special fragrance to me. Uh, you know I've never created a fragrance. This is my first ever fragrance uh, and so I'm, I'm really excited about creating this fragrance specifically, I would say for me, and obviously for you, uh, because I really would like you to uh, create your own memories. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanna get, kind of walk back a little bit. Tell us about this amazing journey to getting here tonight. Because we will go, trust me everybody, the story behind this is unbelievable. Everything has symbolism, everything is such a personal part of who you are and your relationship with David. Uh, but I wanna go, you know, what was the journey like to get here to this beautiful fragrance? Well, my husband and I, David, have been married for 26 years. He passed away five years ago. And uh, my journey, my grieving journey, really has been very unique to me. Uh, and I'm sure it's not uh, something unique uh, just to me because I, I'm sure people have, have loved people and have lost people. But for me, I had uh, a young daughter who was a teenager who who, uh, when my husband passed away, she, you know, I had to help her through her grieving process. So I've ignored mine. So this past year, as we all know, we have been sheltering at home. I went to my house in the country, and, um, and I was there by myself, and everything and the whole world shut down, and I was there at, on my own. And uh, lo and behold, who came to visit me? Grief came to visit me mm. and stayed with me for a while. And uh, the journey I had coming through that process and really coming through it and now experiencing joy and memory, to me, it's unique to me because I really thought 
that that would not be possible, that this year, this past year would have been really a very difficult year for me. But actually, it became a very uh, transformative year. It has been the year that healed me, so to speak. And in that year, in that process, when did the concept come up that you decided you were gonna capture this amazing love story, which fortunately we're gonna get into a little bit later on. What, at what point did you say, gosh, I wanna tell my story, but I don't wanna be quite so public. I'm not gonna write a book about it. I wanna capture it in what I consider the chapters or the layers in this amazing fragrance. Where was that point where you knew, gosh, I kinda wanna do that? Yeah, well, so <clears throat> when my husband passed away, I actually just started wearing his fragrance. Oh, wow. Uh, so just to have it closer to me, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he loved a, 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 a particular fragrance uh, by Tom Ford that was very rare. So in this fragrance, definitely there is very rare because I wanted the fragrance also to have something that, that will remind me of him. But also the, it, ha it has bergamot, black currant, uh, obviously vanilla and beautiful rose. Rose because I wanted him to have, I wanted to have something to celebrate his heritage, which is, which, which is English. And the bergamot and the black currant reminded me of Florence where we got married. So the, but being in the house by myself was, was I, could, I could smell my, my husband in every room mm. because I was wearing his fragrance. Yeah. And in front of me every day I was, I was lucky enough and you know privileged enough really to have witnessed the sunsets every night. So I would sit there at the end of the day and watch these beautiful sunsets. That um, but that couple of years ago would have brought tears uh, to my eyes in a different way. Uh, I, by by thinking, I wish my husband was here to witness it with me, to watch this sun, beautiful sunset with me. But th on this past year, what it did, it was actually I started watercolor because I started painting, and I've never painted in my life. Mm -hmm. So I started painting, and uh, so just to capture that beautiful sunsets, and actually the carton of the fragrance and the and the box that the, that this whole three piece set comes in is actually one of my watercolors. Which I love that. Uh, so everything, Absolutely. every piece, every piece of the fragrance, what's the scent that's inside of it, that's full of memory. I like to say that this is a fragrance that is not a trendy fragrance. This is a fragrance that has a past. Uh, and, I, and I have, the scent itself is so unique because it's kind of not, you know, um, too feminine. Because it has a balance between a very there, which is woodsy, and the bergamot, and of course the rose, which is the feminine side to it. Uh, and the bottle is also unique on its own way because I started stacking stones on my property. And that's a very deliberate action because you have to first go and, and, and gather the stones and then you have to balance them on top of each other. And you have to have patience, and, but also it's calming and there is something um, uh, spiritual about it. And so the bottle itself, the amber so glass at the bottom of the bottle, is really reminiscent of the, of, uh, the sunsets. And the top uh, part of the bottle, which is the hammered gold, as you all guys, girls know that I love, <laughs> I love a hammered gold because it reminds me of Africa. Mm -hmm. So that is the creation of the fragrance. It is from the stacking stones. And I love it because the story behind the stacking stones, it's actually a Gaelic and they've been found throughout the world. But there's a wonderful story behind stacking stones. Um, and I'd love you to yeah. share that, you know, helping you find the right direction or find direction. Yeah, uh, stacking stones are, are called traditionally kerns. And a kern or a stacking stone in the old, old tradition, it was used for memorial. Uh, a site for memorial, like somebody who passed away, so that it used to be instead of graves, they would they would do stacking stones. Mm -hmm. But also, what I love is that in, in other cultures, especially in the old days when the people would go to countries that they didn't know, and they would be hiking, they would leave stacking stones for the other people behind them to know that they were on the right path. Mm -hmm. So something great about that, and also um, stacking stones are also thought about. As a, as a symbol of infinity, because you can stack stones, you know, forever. 
you know, so piece by piece by piece. So that's what I love about about it. Is my property is part of the of the bottle. The sunsets that I've seen this whole past year that reminded me of my husband on a daily basis is is in the bottle. The watercolor of the of the carton and the the case, you know, the box that it comes in it is the watercolors of from my, of, of the sunsets that I've witnessed mm -hmm. and I and I adore. So everything about it is really truly. Um, it's not uh, something that not have been thought of. As you said, it's very intentional yes. because it means really, really a lot to me. And as much as I, I keep on saying to my young friends uh, <laughs> uh, uh, who work for me, the girls who work for me, and all the young people I have around me, 20 and 30, you know, 30 years old, I always tell them, I hope you do have great memories like I do. Yeah, well, we all do, right? I mean, I think to be able to... Uh, have such a unique and amazing love affair and it's eternal is the it's all we have love is all we have you know love and I love this one quote you said recently love and memories you know at the end of the day you have love and you have memories you know you can have all the goods in the world or have nothing and all that's really at the very end is love and memories which you have so many wonderful memories and so many happy moments and so jo joyful and you can see that in the photographs and the pictures and 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 it just it's evoked through this beautiful storytelling now I, I so I told Iman Iman and I got to talk a couple of minutes before we went on and I've been very lucky to know Iman for a long time so I called her up I said how you doing she goes good good and you know we're both very excited about the launch and I said I'm not going to tell you what my first thought was when I uh, sprayed this on I said we're going to wait till you get on the air and I and Iman I had not I had not gotten a, a sample a week ago I literally got it tonight for the first time to try it right so I did this and I walked through it and immediately, without reading any material, not seeing any of my information, I wanted to experience my first thought. What was it? And it was sensual. One word came to my mind, deeply, deeply sensual. This is the most amazing and magnificent scent. And those layers from the top and the middle and the bottom note, you'll, you'll know it, you'll sense it. And I believe if you're watching tonight, this could become your signature scent. It is so unique. And there is a world of fragrances out there. It is a very competitive world of fragrances. I believe what Iman has created tonight for you exclusively is going to become one of the signature fragrances in the world, much like she is, much like her husband David Bowie was. Just, you absolutely, absolutely, I believe, will love wearing this scent. It evokes so many emotions. It evokes so, it's, it's such a sensual, deep, beautiful experience, and I'm so excited you're getting it tonight. Now, I do want to give you a quick couple of updates, and then I'm going to ask you on a couple more questions. Um, number one, remember, it's a three-piece set. It's beautiful. This is an exclusive. This is the premiere launch where the only ones to have it. This is the only place you can actually get it. You get the travel rollerball, you get, of course, the eau de parfum, and of course, you're going to get this beautiful, beautiful body lotion, which is just absolutely gorgeous. You do get the giftable box, and again, this is her artwork. It's an interpretation of those amazing sunsets, not only in Italy, which they're both very fond of, but also in her country uh, home. And all of that, literally for a single day. Now, unfortunately, if you're new to HSN, and we know there are thousands and thousands of you watching for the very first time, Welcome, we love you, thank you for joining us tonight. But understand, the value Iman has put together is only good tonight. It's literally good for a single day, and then we hit midnight. Unfortunately, if I have any left, it's gonna go up pretty st substantially. But this is your place to be able to get it. You might have already seen her on many of the big morning shows. She's done a lot of media. She's been in some of the most amazing publications already, talking about this love story, talking about this launch, and we are your exclusive place. We are the premiere launch to be able to get it. Yes, you'll get in time for the holidays. It's an amazing gift to share. And I know we're very busy. So indeed, if you're new, please go to hsn.com. It is such an easy way to shop. And it's a couple of clicks and you're done and you sit back and you enjoy this really remarkable moment that we all get to share with Iman. And Iman, I do thank you for doing this. Um, uh, you, I would say, if this is fair enough, you and David were very low key in your relationships. You know, you're, you, you know, it's, it's not, you're out there, you're not out there all over the place telling the story for years and years and years. And so I really, truly appreciate you doing this um, because 
it's wonderful to get uh, a little bit more perspective on your amazing love story. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons uh, uh, that people have been asking me, because they were very surprised, because first of all, when they heard Love Memoir, everybody thought it was a book. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I said, no, it's not a book. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but the, it's the, 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 what I was trying to say about the memoir is memoirs are like memories. And like you, when you're reading pages, that's how, um, for me, memories are. They are like tucked between the hearts of our, uh, between our hearts and our minds, mm -hmm. and they, that's where they live, right? Mm -hmm. So what I really wanted also is to share with you, is that something that is really, as I said, it's not just unique to me. I think it's what we really have to remember, and what thing, one thing that I really learned this past year, is that there is nothing individual. We are really universal, when it, especially when it comes to emotions especially when it comes to specific emotions, which is love and grief, right? And, and if we're lucky, really, I, I always say, at this moment, I'd really, after this year, I say, if we're lucky, we will experience both. Because it's inevitable, the grief is inevitable, because w that is part and parcel of life. But if we are lucky, we will have love, right? Mm -hmm. And an eternal love, something that really devotional. Right, and so that is what I really wanted to share. People wanted to know about my uh, uh, love story with my husband. That was, um, the, I, I, you know, I really cherish it. Um, but this is what's going to sustain me for the rest of my life. Right. It is the memories I had with him. And what I really wanted to impart with the customer to understand is that, yes, I have been uh, like you, m maybe like lo a lot of you, have had somebody who's very close to me that has passed away. But the memories are everlasting. That is what is truly, truly unique. And that is what's going to sustain us. And that's what we really should remember. I know, I, I have to tell you, some days are harder than others. But what is really I've come through to understand is that instead of me thinking about, I wish he was here, I think about it, how wonderful that I had 26 years with him. And how, how lucky, you know, and how fortunate. Um, okay, so yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. I thought this was interesting. He's been quoted as yes. saying when he met you for the very first time, it was love at first sight. Do you believe that? Uh, oh, I totally believe it. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? Yes, was it the yes. same for you? Because he said it was him to you. Yeah, no, he, he said love at first sight. No, it took me a while. I'll tell you what, how he, he warned me. Okay. I'll tell you how he warned me. Okay. Uh, the first week we were dating, we were walking down the street, and I'm not going to tell you where because that's part of where the customer has to find out about that question. Okay. But we were walking down the street, and my shoelaces came undone, and he got on his knees <gasps> to tie it for me. Stop. I said, Stop. he's the one. No, that's it. <laughs> I don't remember when was the last time anybody did that, but I was probably two. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right, when you were a baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh, that is romantic. That's like, oh, hello, yes, you um, are the perfect guy for me. <laughs> okay, so I want to fast forward a little bit yeah. because, you know, we're showing some beautiful images of the two of you. So, you know, um, obviously, you know, a year later after you met, you, went, you, you, know, you got married. What was that experience? I, I, you know, from what I understand and what I've read, obviously that was very intimate too, and that was very important to both of you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was uh, barely 75 people, uh, wow. m most of them really uh, family. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents, my cousins, my uncles, you name it, probably the whole of Somalia <laughs> was there. Uh, in the they all showed up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It was, uh, you know, no, it was very small, but we did it also in our favorite country, which was Italy, and specifically Florence. Mm -hmm. Both of us loved Florence. So we did it in Florence, and then we went to Bali, um, for a month and a half. Uh, wow. so, uh, so it was lovely, yeah. I mean, but it was so really global, our whole, yeah, our whole the wooing and the, the, the dating and all that, because so he, we met, and then we, uh, the first trip he took me to was on Capri, in, in, so and that's what you're w looking at. It, that's, that brings so many memories. And then uh, we got married in Florence. Then we went to, to Bali for honeymoon. And then we went to, uh, you know, uh, to Japan. So it was uh, always been, travel has been really part and parcel of our, um, 
our love language. Mm -hmm. And so that's why uh, there are so many elements of, uh, of the, in the fragrance about all these, about my, my travels with my husband. Well, it's, it's so impressive as we talked about earlier, how intentional the fragrance is. And I'm gonna start at the very top, because it's the top notes that matter. Number one, did you enjoy making the fragrance? Oh, I loved it, I loved it. But also what it was, it was very clear to me of what I wanted to create. Since I have never created a fragrance, and I've been always that kind of a girl that I've been very loyal to, and, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to my fragrances when I was in my 20s, for 10 years, I wore the same fragrance. It was called Fracas. But so I'm not the person who changes fragrances, you know, every couple of weeks mm -hmm. or every couple of months. So I, it takes me years to change a fragrance. And, um, and so, so I, was very, I was very aware of what I, what I don't like. So, but I really wanted something that was a celebration of, uh, of memories of the two of us. So Very Ver was definitely had to be in there because that was his fragrance favorite fragrance, and then bring the, 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 those top notes that are the bergamot and blackcurrant that are unique to, especially to Italy and, you know, and Tuscany. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the rose because of the English rose. And, you know, so, so I knew what I wanted it to be. Uh, uh, so the minute I smelled it, I was like, that's the one. That's the one. Well, let me ask you this because, and again, you know, we've been on many, many years now, which I adore. Um, you are a tough sell. <laughs> How do I put this? Iman, yeah. you will go through many iterations of something before yeah. she goes, yes, yeah. that's it. Many, many. So was yeah. it, was it, yeah. was it um, challenging getting those notes just kind of perfected and making sure you had the scent that David w wore and that you love so much, you know, a touch of that in there and being able to differentiate those layers? Was, was that kind of a, a difficult process to get to it? Yes, because it was a, a, a year that everything was shut down. So can you imagine in trying to create a fragrance with a perfumer? And the perfumer who created the fragrance is one of the top, top perfumers in the world. Mm -hmm. But how do you create a fragrance by just talking about it over Zoom, right? So it, right. that was the challenge. So they, they understood what the story was about. They understood the location of what the, what the memories were about. They definitely understood the very there. So what the, it was that it was packages going back and forth, and they wow. will send me like 10 bottles, and I will have to choose the one that I'm gravitating towards. Then, then the next week, they'll send me another different 10 bottles. Now, they're only just numbered, so I have to find it in that note so that it's like I had to learn how to be a nose, so to speak. So that's one thing that I was really... I've never created a fragrance, so I had no idea how to do it. But I only knew how I wanted it to... I wanted it to, to evoke something in me. I wanted to evoke and transport me in those memories. So, and this fragrance did. Oh, it absolutely does. And here, just kind of going to give everybody a quick update. If you're just kind of channel surfing, I'm Suzanne. But much more importantly, Iman's with me tonight. This is the first fragrance in her amazing, amazing life. One of the most iconic original supermodels. She's a CEO. She's a very proud mom. She's a very proud grandmother. Um, she's never created a fragrance before. And we are so honored here at HSN, uh, not only to have Iman with us for many, many years, but to launch this exclusive premiere. Um, what we are getting in the collection or three pieces to it. You know, obviously the centerpiece is right here. And again, we're going to repeat the story because everything is so significant in this. Everything is so touching. It has, you know, I, I am uh, such a little girl at heart. I have chill bumps, you know, really just kind of going over all this and being able to share it with Iman and for her to be able to share it with you. But you get this beautiful eau de parfum. It's gorgeous. This is very symbolic of a uh, part of the process Iman went through in terms of how she has worked through, you know, things in her life. Uh, you get the beautiful lotion. And by the way, the lotion is quite substantial. This, the body lotion is uh, 6.7 fluid ounces. And again, it's glorious. It goes on beautifully. The scent is there. And it it is sensual. Now, if you just want a little happy-go-lucky scent that nobody pays any attention to, do not get this. If you want a scent that will absolutely just 
thrill you to the bone when you're wearing it, that people will remember you when you walk into a room. It is not overwhelming. It is deeply, deeply sensual. That was the word. One word came into my head and it was sensual. And it is, and it's easy to wear and it's got this depth to it that I promise you, you have never ever smelled before. And I've been very fortunate. I've been on the air for a long time. Obviously I've been talking about a lot of scents over the years and obviously I've experienced them because all of us have, but there is nothing, absolutely nothing in a very crowded world of fragrances that comes close to what Iman has done. And you know what? Treat yourself tonight to it. It is a treat. It is such a, an experience, which that's what amazed me. And I'm very sense sensitive. I really am. I always have been. I, I hate little sicky sweet scents. I don't like the little plasticky smelly stuff. I don't like the stores that you just walk past it and you're just overwhelmed by Ugh. Um, but what I discovered in this one is this deep sensuality and you really truly can sense this untold love story. It's an unspoken love story that she has layered, I, I call the layers of the scent, her chapters of her love story. And you immediately sense it. And then as the dry down appears and it happens, it just takes on this slight, subtle, gorgeous change. And I'm so excited you guys are trying it tonight. Here's what I would do if you can please go to hsn.com. It is the fastest and easiest way to be able to do a couple clicks and you reserve yours before they sell out. Don't wait till the end of the day and say, oh, you know, I think I'm going to try this. Now, if you're brand new, guess what we also have? We have an extended return policy because I know it is very difficult to buy a scent on television. You're like, well, I kind of need to smell it. We are giving you until the end of January to wear it, to love it, to try it. And if you aren't absolutely enthralled with it, please send it back. But you have until the end of January of next year to be able to experience this, to wear it at night on a, a, a night out with your husband or your partner, to go to lunch with your friends, to put it on in the morning just to feel sensual and beautiful and gorgeous. And if you don't love it, you can still send it back. That's how you can safely and comfortably try this phenomenal world launch tonight. It is the exclusive premiere. And by the way, you're also getting the travel roller, which is wonderful because I think once you're using this, it will become your signature. It will be the scent that people go, oh, what is it? What is it that you're wearing? And mm, wait, can you come here? Can I have another sniff of that? Your hugs will be different when you hug people simply because you're wearing such a significant signature scent. But the roller you'll take with you. That's purse worthy. That's what I call purse worthy. You will put it in your purse. And if you want to reapply, you can. Although I will say because it's eau de parfum, it has a beautiful long lasting effect, Iman. That was lovely too. It doesn't leave you very quickly. It's true, it doesn't leave you very quickly, but what I've found is like since I've been here in New York and I've been going in studios and talking to the press and all that, so I, for the first time in, in the past year and a half that I've been around so many people. Mm -hmm. And what I found that was very unique that I was very pleasantly surprised, although some people where I, uh, in the country have already told me, is that a lot of men were really loved the fragrance because that's exactly what they said. It was not too sweet and too, they, 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 that's how they put it, too sweet and too flowery. <laughs> that's how they put it. <laughs> but also what was unique is that, that they said, because of the very ver, that's, that's what it is. A lot of them said, oh, I could wear that. You know, because it does not feel like, like that it um, is not for lack of better words that's a unisex. That's not what I intended it to be. Yeah. But definitely there is that balance of the masculine and the feminine because the very, very is a, is a, it's that fragrance that actually men love, yeah. right? And so, um, so it has a great balance. And as you said, it's not something that grabs you. And it's not something that leaves you. It lingers on you all the time. Mm -hmm. But also what I love about that, you know, if I, if I may say about the bottle itself, you know, the reason I also wanted to create the purse, the purse one is that something that you have it all the time with you. But this becomes a jewel. This is something that you have it like really on, on, on your counter. And when I was talking about the balancing, you know, of, of, of the stones, the top, the topper here, you can have it at any position you want it. Now, this is straight like this, but when the camera comes back, I'll show it to you. Like the stacked stones, how you can actually change the look of the, look of the bottle because it is, it is the cap. As you change the cap, I can change it to a side. Look, it becomes a different shape. Oh, so cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can do it that. It becomes a different shape. Right? Yeah. 
like a stacked stone, it changes for you. And I mean, this is really a beautiful, like a piece of sculpture, right? It looks like a piece of sculpture for, to me. And that's what's so beautiful, beautiful about it. Did um, you happen you know, and in- And the spray, of course. Iman, I was just gonna ask, did you happen to send them a couple rocks that you loved? Couple of what? Rocks that you loved, that you maybe had stacked and said, oh, these are the perfect Oh, no, rocks. no, I, no, I, no, I, I, I took pictures and pictures of, <laughs> of, of my stacked stones. I mean, literally, I did one stacked stone a day. But they could be this big or they could be this high. <laughs> really? Right? So they're all, they're all over the property, yeah. So it, beca it became, you know, they, the, the, it inspired the, the, the perfumer, and, but definitely it inspired the, the bottle designer. He just immediately got it, and then he came to the property to visit me, and we just sat down, and, and he actually painted some of uh, the sunsets with me. Uh, oh, so, you wow. know, we really worked at it so that, yeah, he was with me, while I was doing all that, the bottle designer saw uh, Ted, and he really, really got everything I was thinking. And you know, and I love amber, so I have amber jewelry from Africa that is on my in my house. But the sunsets just showed us. I mean, they showed up and showed themselves. It is it was gorgeous. So, wow. so it was beautiful. It was beautiful to create, uh, and it was really very. Emotionally, to, emotional to create, but then at the same time, very joyful. Yes, and I know you must be so happy to be able to share this with others. You know, after many, many years and, you know, really um, uh, being able to tell your story in such a unique way. Because again, you know, you, yeah. you two are both very low key. You know, you don't go, you're not in all the tabloids, you know, talking about everything all the time. And I love the fact that you've taken something that is so personal to you and now becomes so personal to us. Because fragrance yes. is one one of the most personal things you put on your body, you know, and it becomes that mm -hmm. signature. And I'll never forget, I have a friend of mine from years ago when I first started in television. Her name was Geneva and she wore a very specific fragrance. And to this day, I'll walk past someone, if I smell it, I immediately, it evokes immediately her, her image, her love, her fun, her laughter. I think of her when I smell that scent. And it is such a personal thing. And so, you know, something that was so personal to you, thank you for allowing us to be a part of it and to share that and then it becomes very personal to us because now it becomes our segment seg uh, seg or excuse me fragrance as well okay so i want to go to the phones because we have agnes and she got a little early try me sample in a beauty box and i wanted to bring her on the air with us and so agnes you're now on with iman welcome to the exclusive premiere of love memoir hello you both Hi, agnes. It's beautiful to Hi, hi, and it's really beautiful to be uh, among both of you and share my experience. So what was it like when you first tried it? What did you think about the bottle? I love the bottle. You, you, you know, as Iman said, it reminds me of amber too, but it's from Latvia because I yes. come from Latvia and amber is a beautiful uh, stone there and uh, people make jewelry from it. So I love the bottle a lot mm -hmm. a lot of memories too and what did you think of the fragrance yeah. fragrance the first thing as you said it was sensual yeah. that was the first thing that came to my mind and it's really beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. and romantic and I was feeling when I put it on it was like I felt special immediately I said this is my fragrance oh. to go in my special moments and I would wear it definitely when I go out with my husband and when I want to feel special, when I want to pick up myself from maybe uh, some bad moments in my life. So it truly, truly meant a lot. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it and make new memories. <laughs> I will definitely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience. 
And thank you, Agnes, for thank joining you. us. It was so sweet to chat with you. Hey, I do want to remind everybody, we have a trivia thing going on right now. Can we show the trivia question again? Only because I want everybody to be able to participate in it. So what happens is you're going to answer the trivia question, and you can chat now on hsn.com. And uh, we're going to pick one winner, and Iman is going to hand sign one of her beautiful fragrance bottles for you. So someone's going to win it, and I'll announce it at the end of the hour. So here's the question. Where did Iman and David Bowie meet? Was it Italy, California, New York, or Florida? So again, A, B, C, or D. You can go online and you can comment, maybe comment about how much you're excited about her new launch. You're excited about uh, owning this and getting it and, and being able to experience it for the first time like Agnes and for me as well. And I, we'd love to get your response and we will pick a winner and announce it at the end of this hour. So Amon, we're kind of halfway through the show. And if you don't mind, I kind of want to do a rewind and kind of go back to the beginning because we know a lot of people are joining us throughout the hour. And so again, this is your exclusive yeah. premiere here at HSN. It is truly a labor of love. Um, and I'd like to just kind of start in the beginning of the journey. Uh, you know, kind of why did you decide to do a fragrance and what was the process doing it and what were your thoughts behind it? Uh, yes, this is a tribute to uh, uh, my romance with my husband uh, that lasted over three decades. Uh, you know, I have never created a fragrance before. I have a beauty company that I have done skincare, I have done cosmetics. But this is my ev first ever fragrance. And it really came about that I was at my house in, in the country, like everybody, sheltering at home last year. And what happened was that I didn't, I had no intention of coming to spending that, time, that much time uh, in the country. I came for a weekend and then the whole world shut down and I was um, uh, sheltering there by myself, literally me and my dog. That was it, there was nobody else. Wow. And, um, and what happened was that it's just, I realized that actually that I have not processed my own grief when my husband passed away five years ago because I had a teenager, that, uh, daughter, my teenager daughter, that I was trying to help with her, the grief that she, she just lost her father. So as, as all women would do, we do, we put our children first and mm -hmm. we put ourselves at the end. Mm -hmm. So, um, and just through, by being alone in the solitude, it forced me and I, and as I, I like to say it, uh, grief came to visit me and stayed for a, for a while. Mm. And I had to, to go through my, the process of grieving and, um, you know, and finally the acceptance of it and, um, and came through it. Uh, I can never say that it's over, but I will say definitely some days are harder and a lot of days are better. Uh, so what I wanted to create is something really uh, a memory about joy. I wanted to really have joyful memories and remember the, what I've shared with my husband for 26 years rather than just remembering what I've lost. Mm -hmm. So I, and I knew in that year I was not alone because this was a year that was difficult for all of us. And, you know, and people have lost family members, they've lost friends, uh, the lovers, husbands. Uh, that was a tough year. So I, I thought this was really something individual story of mine, but a universal one. Mm -hmm. so, and that's why I created this fragrance. Now, your country house, there's obviously many, many memories and a lot of your, your travels together with David and around the world. And, but the actual space outside has a lot of influence on what you created with the fragrance. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people would think that the house, because the interior of the house holds memories, that that is what evoked uh, uh, um, this whole, he this healing. But it actually is the nature that the, where the location of the property, the nature of what was surrounding me, that actually what healed me. I have these beautiful, magical sunsets in front of me every day, mm -hmm. you know, that are peaking behind mountains, you know, and it's just really, there is nothing more spiritual than watching a sunset on a daily basis because every sunset is completely a different sunset mm -hmm. that you have never seen it before, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so what I, that started to calm me and then for the first time ever in my life, my husband was a painter, my daughter is a painter, but I have never painted uh, and I'm surrounded by paintings, but so I started the, just to paint these beautiful sunsets that I'm witnessing. So I started to, to do watercolors, and those watercolors that I painted 
are now became the, the carton that houses the bottle and also the box that the three-piece set comes into. Yeah. So there, everything about, the, about this whole um, three-piece set that you're getting, the box that you're getting, what's inside it, even if you open the carton, there are words like a memoir, like you're reading books, right? So there are chapters of words inside the, in the cartons that what I feel about love and what I feel about memory, right? Mm -hmm. It's written there inside it. So it's like every piece of this fragrance is very intentional and it is very deep and moving, uh, personal, sensual, uh, experience that you will get. The holding of the bottle, it's the, the, the glass part of the bottle, is, a, is really an inspiration of, about the sunset, right? And then the, the cap, the golden cap on top of it, is a hammered gold, like what African jewelry is usually made of. So mm -hmm. there is so many feelings and, and stories behind everything. This is because I have not ever created a fragrance and because I love fragrances, that I really wanted, if that was, if I ever was gonna create a fragrance, I wanted a crea to create a, f a fragrance for the scent and the soul, the, for your senses and your soul. Yes, and, and absolutely you've captured that. And now I wanna go over the actual Eau de Parfum bottle. Um, it's fantastic yeah. and it looks like it's barely balanced. That is amazing to create such a beautiful piece. Even the hammered gold, when you when you open it up at home and you take it off for the first time, there's a there's such an amazing tactile feel to it. It's I love the hammered and there's a weight to it. And it really is. It shows a little bit about you know life can be precarious, uh, so you carefully stack the stones. But share that important story of why the stacking of the stones is important to you and and what why. You you do it yeah so I I I'm walking around on my property I would go for hikes and when I come back to the property I've just started to notice that stones. so I'll collect stones and I've always loved stacked stones so I started to create my own stacked stones now that's a deliberate act right because it's you have to find the right stones you have to balance it so there is an act of balance you can't rush it because everything it will tumble down and so by, cre by doing that, it calms you also, right? And you are really present in the moment. Now, these stack stones are, used, are called kerns. A kern is something that is really present in lots of cultures. But originally, it, it really came from its origins. It were done for memorials, where instead of uh, graves, they would do these stack stone to know that there is a memorial of somebody who passed away. So I love that part of it. But also, in, when people started, uh, uh, you know, travelers, when they started uh, adventure and going to countries that they've never been and they're in places uh, uh, or hiking in places that they have never been, they will leave stacked stones on their trail so that the person behind them will know that they're on the right track and on the right path, mm. right? But also, what I love about it also is a sign of infinity because you can stack stone as, as much as you can, as long as you balance, balance them right. So there is something, something very comforting about that. It's about balance, it's about patience, right? It's the, all that, and it's about, uh, it's about memorial. It's a bad memory to and, remember somebody. And there's something genuinely beautiful about stack stones. That you can see one or come yes. upon one, and there's such a beauty to mm -hmm. it. There's a silence beauty. It's really, it's really an amazing. Uh, and again, it, it's it's very much the process that you've gone through. And now I'm sure a lot of other people are going to try stack stones too. They'll be, like, I've got to try that. Um, I just want to give you everybody a quick little update. If you're new to HSN, this is our best value today. We always launch it at midnight, and it ends two ways: either it sells out, or we get to midnight night on a new day and we start another one. This is important because we're launching it here at HSN and this is not available anywhere else. Tonight, I wanna share our five flex pay with you because that's important. If you'd like to get this home and try it out, you can use any major credit card. We make it really easy. And tonight you're gonna spend $15.18 and a little shipping on top of that, but you're gonna spend about $15. You're gonna get this at home and you get to try it out. Now I know for many of you are like, how does anybody buy a fragrance on television? 
Well, many, in fact, thousands now already have done that tonight. It's very easy because we even make it simpler to try it. You have until the end of January. We are in our extended return policy, which is wonderful. So you can wear it, get the compliments, take it out, have people ask you, get an extra sniff from your partner, your hubby, your lover, you know, and really try it out. And if you don't absolutely consider it your new favorite, maybe it'll become quickly your signature scent, then I want you to send it back. But you have until the end of January next year to do that. So it's the best way ever in the entire year here at HSN to be able to try something new from us. And I would highly recommend it. Now, unfortunately, if I have a couple left, what I don't think we will at this rate, the price is going to go up to almost $100. At retail, it's $134.85. It is not at retail right now. So you cannot get this anywhere else. And this is an exclusive configuration. Every last inch of this has been thought out, has symbolism and meaning that's associated with Iman and of course her, really her love letter through a fragrance, an unwritten love letter uh, through the, her fragrance with David Bowie. And what a remarkable night tonight, right? Isn't that amazing? Maybe you keep the main fragrance bottle and give away the travel and the lotion. Maybe you share the entire kit with someone that you love. Maybe you don't have a signature fragrance and you've always wanted one. Maybe you want to try something different. I will tell you, it is deeply sensual and lingering. It's lovely. It just evokes this blanket of depth over you. Amon, I don't think I've ever been so moved so deeply about a fragrance. Um, and I do want to go over the notes again so everybody understands what your thoughts were going into it. And I do appreciate your passion of, of, of just being involved in every aspect of this piece. It is such a representation and you can tell it's you sharing this very intimate story that I know is obviously quite personal to you. Oh absolutely, absolutely. I mean it, it is again it's a fine balance. I've, I've always lived uh, uh, very privately as a public person you know uh, as, as so for me this is this is quite unique for me to open up as much as I did for on this for this fragrance, but it's something that it's a it's a it's a tribute that I wanted to share. But I wanted also to 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 have this communal joy and communal love and communal mem memory that we all have. And what and really what it is this about? It is really whether you're young and you want to create your own memories. You create your you know whether through a fragrance and you find what is that fragrance means to you. Uh, but what I will tell you definitely, this is um, a very unique fragrance. That I can say to you, because the what is involved in creating it from, from the carton to the bottle to the intention behind it, it is quite unique. Because usually fra we, we, they, we don't, they don't create fragrances out of somebody's emotion. They create it out of out of a, a gardenia or a rose or a single, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But it's not like an intentional of a memory. This is one of the hardest things to create, but it's one thing we all have and want. That's what it is. That it is what we want is to feel something sensual, to have something that has a meaning behind it, right? That be because I, I'm telling you, that's why I haven't done a fragrance, because to me, I've always thought, how do you create a fragrance that you like, but you want everybody else to like it? It's rather difficult. But when, it's, when it has something that is based on a emotion and a story that is actually real, it might make sense to you that it is real. Mm -hmm. You said you worked with one of the top fragrance designers in the world. Um, was it interesting yeah. for that person to have to design from memories and stories from you and photos and, uh, you know... Um, was it was that difficult? I, I believe it's a her for her to do. No, it's not a her. Actually, it's a it's a he. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a young I'm, man. Oh, when wonderful. I, but was that interesting for him to have yeah. to approach this in a very different way? Yeah, I have finally met him um, uh, after the fragrance was finished and done, and I, I interviewed him. Uh, and I came to see him finally when it, uh, the offices opened a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I came to, to visit him, and I was shocked by how young he was. <laughs> really? <laughs> he was a young man. He, yes, he's French. He comes from a history 
and a family of perfumers. Wow. Um, but funny enough, this is very interesting that what he told me is that, first of all, he's starting in his own love journey. He's just got engaged, so I'm happy for him. Um, <laughs> but also, he, he, is, um, he is colorblind, which is very interesting to me. Because wow. he said, yeah, he doesn't know, yeah, he doesn't know what a purple looks like, but he can smell a purple. <laughs> That's a nose. That's a perfume of That you. sure uh, is. No. He, wow. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and he was kind of he was very clear because he followed our he knew about our love story yeah. and he got more in depth with it of me and him having conversations about love and all that. So 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 it was interesting for this young man who is on his early journey of starting creating his own love memory to create something unique like this for me because it, as I said, this is a fragrance that's not trendy. This is not a fragrance you've smelled before. This is not a fragrance right. that you can even have, have an, as you say, oh, I've smelled something like it before. Yes. This is a unique fragrance because the, the intention between the, what we have, the bergamot and the black currant, the rose with the very there, it's, it's an unusual combination that has created something, as you said, it very sensual. Well, and on the dry down, which is it's kind of three layers. It's the top notes, the middle, it's the dry down. I want you to explain Vera Vera and why that is so significant to this scent. Vera Vera was David's, uh, my husband's uh, favorite scent. Mm -hmm. uh, and he wore uh, a, a fragrance for years that was, that was based very Vera, Vera, called Vera Vera, actually. And so when he passed away, that's the fragrance I've been wearing for the past five years. Uh, so, so that I can have him around me all the time. Um, and so it became my fragrance. His fragrance became my fragrance mm -hmm. till I created now one that has both his fragrance and mine. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Um, when yeah. you've got yeah, the something finish... that, yeah, that, that balanced. Yeah. Uh, exactly, and you can definitely tell that. You know, I love it because the top notes yeah. are the bergamot and the black currant and the coconut, which has a little sparkliness to it. It's very sensual, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. The middle notes are rose and jasmine, and that's very romantic. The, for me, this is just like chapters in your own love affair. It's so, I find this a fascinating fragrance process process because you're right you're, you're telling your love story without having to speak it without having to write it down in a big book or on some crazy you know tabloid or whatever it's literally coming through yeah. these layers almost like chapters so you have the sparkly joy at the top the beginning of romance and then in the middle notes you have the rose and the jasmine that's the romantic portion in those dry downs yeah. it's playful it's sensuous it's a bit of david um, i i literally yeah. uh, get chill bumps um, but i have to ask you so when you got it all yeah. done because this is an arduous process it's you no one understands how difficult yeah. this is is. and the artwork and yeah. the bottle and getting everything right and the amber color and certainly the importance of the sense that's that's a, that's essential when you got the box the very first time and you looked at it and then you open it up tell us what that was like for you uh, it brought tears to my eyes but Aww. tears of joy yeah. you know yeah. uh, and and actually it because the bottle looks like a sculpture is actually in the living room it's not in my bedroom <laughs> it's in the living room looking like a sculpture yeah. it sits there and uh, and also the, the the thing is that every every end of day when the sun rays come in at the sunset it hits the bottle you know, it's, it's a perfect, like, my husband can see the bottle, right? Oh. And it's like, oh. uh, and the sunset every day, those rays hit the bottle. That's why it's in the living room. Oh. It looks a be like a beautiful sculpture, but it hit the rays, that sunset and that bottle meet each other every evening. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine the glow coming through the amber <laughs> color of the bottle. It, it must be exactly. magnificent. Oh my goodness. Um, it is, it is beautiful, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you've said, and I've read and, and heard that you feel like, well, you know, um, while you're there and you're surrounded by this and the sun hitting it and all that, that very much you experience David in your life quite often. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, uh, I believe when they say that uh, um, miracles and, 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 and are, are all around us if we just pay attention, you know, and mm -hmm. I think it's the same thing. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I've never thought of it before my husband passed away. I never thought about, you know, that people will meet each other again when they pass away. But, but I, 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 
I'm, I'm holding to that because it sounds sounds very lovely, right? <laughs> As you meet each other again. Yes. Why not? Why not believe it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I totally agree with you. I'm all in on that. Well, just let me take a second, Iman, yeah. and then I'm going to come right back to you very it's quickly. It's going to hurt. <laughs> yes. Oh, of course. Right. <laughs> um, but let me kind of explain what's going on. Iman is with me. We are having the world launch. It is the premiere of the very first fragrance she's ever created. Love memoir. Um, you're getting three pieces. You get the bottle, the body lotion, which is just beautiful. And by the way, it goes in very, very quickly. I haven't gotten too much of the technicalities of this, but it's very, very, the, the scent is there. You can layer between the eau de parfums and put the lotion on first. It goes in very quickly. It's very moisturizing and great for your skin. Obviously, it smells amazing when you're using it. So, you know, you start out your day with the lotion on your body, hydrating your skin. Then you go, next level would be using the eau de parfum. And then when you're out and about, if you want to reapply later, you also get the rollerball. Uh, the entire value is and will be $134.85. Obviously, for the launch, we're at $75.90. No one else has this except us. We're the lucky ones uh, because we have such a long and wonderful relationship with Amon. And uh, this is your opportunity. Now, she'll be featured in People Magazine on Friday. You've already seen her on morning shows. She's been on other very prestigious magazines talking about this. Now you can finally get it. And there are literally thousands of you doing that. If you can, as I mentioned earlier, hsn.com is such an easy way. It's two clicks and you're done. You don't have to wait for someone on the phone. You just go right through the process and you've got yours ordered. And then you sit back. And I hope now that you've heard the story this hour that you're in as much as anticipation as I was when I I was waiting for my box to try it out. I knew it was going to be a big deal. I knew, Iman, you had literally put your heart and your soul and your talent and your passion behind creating this. So I knew because, you know, I've been blessed to work with you for so long that it was going to be special. What I didn't realize is truly how special it is. And I think you're going to realize that when you get this at home. And again, we give you until the end of January to make sure you love it. And if you don't, guess what? We'll still refund your money. But this is the only place you can get it. And do it tonight. Why not treat yourself to something that truly is beautiful to wear, could become your signature scent, definitely will be noticed for sure. I think something that you will fall in love with every single time you put it on and then also be a part of cre uh, creating your own love story. And Iman, you know what would be really neat? Yeah, I know this is the launch tonight, but I wonder how many true love stories will start just because of your fragrance. I hope so. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, of course, of course. You know, my daughter, my daughter uh, said uh, uh, that um, I wish I will find somebody who will love me as my as my dad loved my mom. So oh. yes, I would love people to have to have fall in love, fall in love, yes. Yeah, this is, well, you might be wearing it and somebody comes up, a stranger and says, my goodness, you smell great, and there you go, voila, yeah. it's love. All right, you know, Iman, <laughs> we only have about a minute or so that I get to spend with you tonight. Do you have anything you'd like to add while we wrap up the, the show? Uh, absolutely, I mean, this is really from the bottom of my heart. This is a creation that was, uh, was all about love and, and about joy. That's what, that's the takeaway of anything. And at the end of the day, we, all we will ever have is our memories. And as I say, if we are lucky, but this is really a labor of love and I hope you do enjoy it. And the winner tonight, Iman, who got it right, it, uh, she yeah. is getting a signed love memoir bottle. It's Helen P. She said, they met in California, such a resilient woman, and sharing yes. her story with us is so special. I'm crying. I can't wait to try it. Oh, what a neat way to end the oh, show. Thank you. <laughs> Well, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you just don't know how precious this night has been. And I want to thank you. And for everybody else who's watching, I'm sure they thank you as well, because it is wonderful that you've opened up about this and, and shared your important and lovely story. And certainly, congratulations on your amazing new fragrance. Thank you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon. Uh, later on today. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Iman, thank you. Again, yes, Iman will be later back on later today. on today with us as well. Have a great evening. More coming up. You can hear the entire story next. Just stay with us. Gift your best now and pay over time during HSN's Flex the Halls event. Create your merriest memories this season with new favorites from Shark, Curtis Stone, and more. Plus sale prices on Ninja and Caloric. Flex the Halls, tonight at midnight. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind.
we just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Never run out of the things you love with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries and easily customize your shipping preferences. Plus, AutoShip locks in your order price while enrolled. It's the smartest way to get more of a good thing. Search AutoShip.